That's one of the things that I've been meditating on as well from Hebrews 6. Just about, Lord, I don't want to stay in a place from last week even, from last year for sure. Lord, are we growing? That's what I, Lord, where are we at? Are we growing? Are we changing? If we're the same as we were from last year to today, that's a problem. Amen? So, Lord, we just thank you for your grace and your mercy. Lord, for the word that you've challenged us with, to let everything go that holds us back. God, that we can run the race with our eyes like flint, focus on you, oh God. Lord, you're calling us and you've been calling us to come up higher. No longer are we going to be in this elementary place. God, we are mature sons and daughters. And what we don't understand, Lord, we will sit at your feet and we will feast on your word, oh God. That right now is the most important thing we can do. There's great teachings out there. There's a lot of great stuff. But when we are in that intimate place, that's the greatest learning tool. Holy Spirit's our greatest teacher that he will show us things to come. Write down. Get in that place. As I said a couple of times, days or weeks ago, whenever. Write down what he's saying, even if you don't think it was him. But write down what, what you think you're hearing. The Holy Spirit is speaking to us. He's saying, I want you to hear my voice so that you will grow, so that you will move up, so that you will have a path. So Holy Spirit, we say yes to the word of encouragement. We are the revival. In Ephesians 3, it talks there are times of refreshing, but that refreshing is within us. Lord, you're stirring the flame within all of us. We are the revival. It's us. The fire, the zeal of the Lord has consumed us, oh God. So, Lord, we just say we are laying aside complacency. Your word says, woe to those who are at ease in Zion. Woe. So, Lord, where there's been any complacency, we repent. Where we put anything before you other than our time in your presence, we repent. God, forgive us. God, we, we don't want to miss out on what you have for us. And you have the best. And we so settle for so little. So, Lord, we say yes to the fullness of what you have in Jesus' name.